But in general, you should really be paying attention to what the governor is doing because it will do stupid things in managing your citizens. This is good though, this is good. Anyway, next tech choice, I'm going to think. Okay, and I am done thinking. So first of all, I actually didn't pay attention when the huts popped. I am not used to uh, even thinking about huts. Uh, by the way, I, I really think huts are fine. I kind of, they're amusing to play with, although I, I usually don't play with them. I kind of, in my opinion, they just make it the early game a little erratic. But I actually despise random events and random events are on in this game. Uh, I don't really understand random events very well which is part of the problem, but they're just so random and I actually find them very immersion breaking. Like I'm really getting into a game and then some event happens that just doesn't make any sense. Like they discover parrots in one of your jungles or something like that. And it's just like utter nonsense, you know, or you just suddenly lose diplomacy with somebody for no reason. It's just, I don't know, I don't like random events. So if hopefully this won't end with me getting totally overrun by magic barbarian archers or something or axemen i don't know what they even send anyway we've got plenty of options with the horse and easy bog busting not too concerned but anyway the point was we actually got the wheel for free from one of these huts that our city popped so that actually makes things it makes a nice situation even nicer the wheel is sort of one of the critical texts we'll need especially to hook up this city Um, by by trade routes and speed stuff up and whatnot. Anyway, what I think I'm going to do, especially since the wheel is taken care of, see, there it is, the wheel, I'm going to go directly for bronze working. Why am I going directly for bronze working? It's because we have two really high priority city sites. Uh, this one here and this one over here. This one is high priority because we would really like to work the gold and get our research working. And it's, it's a good city, so it's not like we're, you know, it's not like we're going out of our way even to get this gold, but we want it as soon as possible. We also want this maybe even sooner, just to make sure we don't get boxed in too much, to make sure we get control of our choke. So I want a lot of production, and uh, the way to do that is to get bronze working, because you can chop forests and whip Hmm, I think about that. And I might get bronze working and then get pottery afterwards to make sure I can make granaries in as many cities as possible. But I probably want to be, I don't know if I want to be whipping those or not. We will see how it works out. So first, I'm going to improve the wheat. That is because it's our highest food tile. Even though the cow is, strictly speaking, a better tile, the wheat is more food and early on we're going to be putting our worker our hammers into warriors which are really not that hammer efficient hammers this early are just not so amazing oh mansa musa have you guys met they have not met each other yet improving the wheat Investigating here. Oh, that rice almost makes me consider moving the location of this city, but not quite. Not quite. And he's founded Hinduism. Okay, well, doing my best to avoid this lion, I'm going to try to get fortified on this forested hill here. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Your order, reporting for duty. So our next warrior is going to head south. And we want to actually, I don't think we're going to need anything but warriors to defend against barbarians. We just need to kind of fog bust this area and fog bust this area. Now, once again, if you know better than me and what I'm doing is stupid with events on, then, you know, just adjust your play accordingly. So, anyway, be careful here. Don't move directly to the cow. Move here, start a road, and then cancel it because that gives you a free road turn. 
improve the cow and fortify that warrior. And he'll just stay there. Hopefully serve as a kind of barbarian magnet. Oh, right. So it's a big question how much you want to grow your first city before you start producing settlers. I think three sounds like a good size for this city because we have three really good tiles. Might consider working the Plains, Riverside Plains Hill at size four. It's also a good tile. But three seems pretty good. Pretty good to me. We want to get this settler out soon. I mean, even if even if Montezuma's not going to settle all the way over here, it might be that he'll settle next to the horse or something. Actually, that makes me consider moving closer. But, I mean, he might... What might he do? I don't know. I, uh, it might be that this isn't as urgent as I'm making it out to be. But I'll treat it as urgent. I just really don't want to see that go... Hmm, okay, we may have not timed the growth quite well enough, and that's okay. So we might want to grow once more if that's not too much trouble. Actually, no, let's let's just make it at size three. We'll even hold the warrior off. We're not going to quite have the cows up the entire time. Okay, well, that's, that's tough. If I make... The lion cross the river. He won't have great odds. There, this, this fortified guy is doing a good job. So everything is up and running now. The question is, how easily can we road over there? I think pretty easily. Sure, I don't get ambushed or anything. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. And it's in another hut. Death, all things appear fair. So the question is do I want pottery next or mysticism? Uh, this city, you know, it's going to be pretty nice, but it is going to need mysticism to shine, I mean, to get <laughs> many of its good tiles. So I'm highly inclined to start with mysticism here. And of course, mysticism, mysticism is a little better for us than most leaders because we, um, we get plus one happiness from it. I'm going to follow up with a worker here. Uh, producing an additional settler seems less than good. So we just won't have worker turns to do anything. And a bunch of gold. I think we'll be pretty good in getting this city hooked up. Uh, mysticism is going to be a little late, so... In retrospect, we might have planned this slightly better by getting bronze working after mysticism. Just making sure I explore this, and then I'll try to put the warrior in a central location to stop barbarians from spawning. We're also going to want a warrior up here pretty soon. Oh yeah, always wait until the road is done before you make the city. Saves you two gold. Oops, I meant to send him northeast, but it doesn't matter too much. Right, yeah, so here we don't have much to do but build a warrior. And that's okay, warriors are not horrible. And I'm gonna go ahead and mine this hill so that New York is not working that horrible, horrible tile. 
Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea. Okay, so now we're gonna switch to a monument. Over here, probably finish the warrior afterwards, but not sure. Um, units do decay. The hammers decay pretty rapidly. For that reason, I might want to finish up the warrior here, and maybe even maybe even grow into another tile before making the next settler. Yes, I'm going to grow onto this tile. And now pottery for our expansive granaries. Wonderful, wonderful buildings. Okay. Try to kill that lion. Fog bust. Hmm. Seems to be a bunch of overflow. I don't want to overflow into something. Well, looks like we can probably get away with a monument and a warrior. Yeah, and so in five turns, we're going to make, we're going to produce. 54 hammers, I guess. And that's just, it's almost exactly perfect to get a warrior and a monument. Now, I mean, maybe maybe we'd prefer to get three warriors, though. We have a warrior coming out of here. We're going to need a warrior for garrison here. We're going to need another warrior over here. And... Sorry, there's a little bit of subtlety here. What do we need, and do we even want to grow to size four? Well, let's let's grow to size four, just to see what it feels like. And I'm gonna go ahead with the three warriors, just because we really are gonna be relying on warriors for our barbarian defense. Uh, that's not something you normally see in high level play. But it seems really appropriate here because we have so little land to, to spawn bust and our choke is so well defined. It just all looks pretty good to me. So incidentally, the only reason I'm satisfied with sealing this off is that I feel like we do have enough land here to do something very useful with. Hey, close call. Okay, and then the next warrior will go where? Okay. There you have it. Yeah, I guess I would have preferred to whip this monument, but that's not going to happen without actual food. But what I can do is start chopping settlers. Hmm. Let's see if there's any way we can grow a little faster. Eight food. 